Right, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> We've just, I've just literally got had, like I was saying, funny isn't it? I was saying Facebook has been a little bit glitchy. Oh, I want to turn that round. Oh, I can't while I'm recording. Um, so it's a bit glitchy and I don't know why it's been glitchy and why it's just suddenly backed me out. So if you were on the live a moment ago, for some reason, Facebook has just backed me out. So who's back? Let me know who's back. <laughs> and let's get everybody back. Luckily, it was just at the start. So we hadn't kind of gone through all of the lovely stuff that we've got today. Hey, Simone. I don't know what's happened. Facebook is just having some little gremlins today. Um, and it's not, it's just completely backed me out. So if you were on the other live, hope you're not still on the other one and you're coming back in here. So do let me know, um, put it in some comments because I can't see any comments um, coming up there. So we are talking about money today and the number one reason that you are not getting the money that you desire and how we can change it. Hi Nikki, how are you doing? I don't know what's going on today. <laughs> we kind of just have to chill um, a little bit because it's just completely backed me out um, of the live there, so I don't know what's going on. And then I've realized I've put it portrait and it won't let me rotate it. Anyway, so I'm, what I was, I was saying to the other group when I was on the other live before it backed me out, hey Sean, hey, how are you doing? was that um, I want to ask you how much money you are allowing yourself to make. How many of you are not getting the money that you desire and you're not earning your worth? Because it's pretty frustrating, isn't it, when you have that? And I've been there and, you know, it's one of those money mindset stuff is the stuff that we have to really keep on working on. It's not something that you kind of just do and then it's all done. So... I'm the, the I think for us you know it's it's pretty frustrating in being like that and a lot of people actually cap their own income they cap their earnings because we've got a programmed amount of um, money inside oh hey Lisa lovely to see you my darling oh thank you that's very very kind um, it's because we have I had the hair done last week completely transformed isn't it have your hair done feel great again <laughs> We're all got so desperate. Um, yeah, Nikki, I know that we're doing some work on this as well in the programme, but people cap their income level. And we've, we're programmed, we've got this programme inside of us, and it's the amount of money that you allow yourself to make. Is that, uh, you, know, you know, when I'm it's, like I said, it sounds a bit strange, doesn't it? And um, what then happens is we can cap ourselves and we begin self-sabotaging those things and bringing everything back to that level that we were comfortable with before. So we're not stretching ourselves. So the number one reason, the number one reason of why we do this is solely down to our self-worth and our belief. So let me just test this out with you. Do any of these sound familiar to you? That no matter what you do and how hard you work, you always seem to be ending up earning the same each month. Hey, Sandy. Or you don't pay yourself hardly anything. Or you have an amazing month. This is one of the classic ones. And this is the one that I work on, you know, so because we all have the stuff. If you have an amazing day or an amazing month with you know extra sales and then the following month you, you might have sort of you might dip off you might go back to square one where you started so or, or the, you might have some unexpected unexpected cash that comes your way and then all of a sudden before you can think about spending it the car breaks down or some other unexpected costs occur um, or you gain, you know, a couple of um, high paying clients only to lose a couple of your older clients, you know, keeping you at the same monthly income again. Or maybe your earnings, you know, you're earning very similar amounts, maybe just going up a little bit, but then your outgoings are going up a little bit too. So again, it averages out. So let me know if any of those resonated with you. Let me know in the comments if any of those are things that sound familiar to you. 
because all of those all of those are signs that you could be hitting your income cap you've got your MO so somehow hi Sam you've got your MOT tax renewal reminder today okay so yeah isn't that funny how it may it may have been that you you got some extra money and then you've got other unexpected costs coming in as well. L let me know, anybody else, if any of those things um, are happening with you. You know, like you're, you're working really, really hard and you're still, you know, you're still earning the same amount. Because the reality of all of this, the reality of all of it, is actually it's nothing to do with the money you make. It's actually your attitude and your mindset and know that it's you, it's a bit of a brutal one, but it's you blocking your own highest potential. And what we tend to do, we devalue ourselves, or we justify and rationalize not having the earnings that we want. You know, maybe you give away lots of your time, your value, your knowledge, um, and, you know, and, and bargain with your prices maybe, because you don't feel good enough to earn the money. Let me know if any of those resonate with you. And the big one is self-sabotage. This is where we unconsciously do things to make that achievement of that goal, that financial goal, impossible. You know, we procrastinate. Um, we take on too much. We um, maybe take on lots of the lower earning contracts or, or the lower earning um, offers and things just to get the money and it's that scat you know a bit of a scattered approach you know we're a bit distracted and you know this is also where we may have a bit of um, compulsive spending as well so we've suddenly had a great month so we think yeah we go out and spend it on stuff on frivolous spending so then we've got nothing to show for all our, our work or we live from paycheck to, to pay, paycheck, making do. So let me know if any of those are ringing true for you. Um, it's what comes up again. This arena is for us to be open and honest. These are the things that are coming up right now for lots of my clients. And again, it's something that, like I said, it's an evolving process. We do have to do the work in this area. Um, because as we up level, it's again, <laughs> new level, new devil sort of happens. You know, and we can almost be ashamed to admit that money even matters. You know, you might find that you, you, you know, be, you, potentially if your business is starting to go well, you might find it a bit embarrassing to start talking about, um, you know, th th that you want to make money. You know, what will people say? Will they think you're greedy for wanting more, for instance? And you've got that feeling of um, kind of being judged or people not liking you because of you've got this money. So do you use your, oh, so you relate to that a lot. Was there anything specific in there, Nikki, that you related to? Because that can help you kind of address it because awareness is key. Awareness is absolutely key. You know, if you are trying to justify your current situation, you know, so do you use your current situation as an excuse to keep yourself earning less? Because the point is, there will always be people that will be more prosperous than you. There will be also be people that um, are not as prosperous as you. There are always going to be those types of people. Now the good news, the good news is that each and every one of those things that I talked about there are all self-imposed. It's what we do to ourselves. So we can change it, we can change it. So let me just ask you right now, how does money work for you in your life right now? Are you scared of it running out? Are you, um, do you say there's never enough or I've just got enough to get by um, or I can't charge that much or, um, you know, you're finding that you're self-sabotaging? Let me know how, many, how does money work for you in your life right now? 
because this one's a big one. So there's no mistake in this that your net worth, what you are earning right now, your net worth is affected by your self worth. If you don't believe you are worth a lot, then your bank balance will actually reflect that. So when you've got this attitude of scarcity around money, it creates barriers between you and your financial success. You are constantly worried about not having enough. Money almost becomes negative for you. Sam, self-sabotage, yeah. The reason you're not making the money that you want is that you do not believe that you will have it or will feel worthy of it. That is the bottom line. Now, also know that once we've, you know, we've created this ceiling, that cap that we put on ourselves, we can totally break it too. Totally break it. It's why that I include money mindset and working on our self-worth and our self-beliefs within my coaching and mentoring programs. Within all my programs, money is absolutely what underpins my programs because you know all of this all of this is all interlinked you know it's not just if we just work on the money stuff and not on the mindset we, we it, it's just not going to happen it's just not going to happen so we've got to do stuff you know because within my programs and that includes my kind of my 12 week mega success mindset accelerator program we don't just touch the surface. And I know I've got a couple of my ladies in here and they will know that we don't just touch the surface on this stuff. We really get to the root cause of these self-imposed limitations and those unconscious beliefs that are working against you. Because in order to get to that next level, you need to release something. You, it's usually fear or self-doubt or fear of failure, or lacking confidence um, or that expectation from others and what you know they think you should earn. So during the programme we work on the things that are stopping you moving to that next level, the thing you need to release. You know, they're like these anchors, aren't they? Weighing you down. Now it's probably going to be quite clear to you where you've stagnated over time. And I would actually sort of encourage you to, to sort of look at your, your pattern. See if there is a pattern, you know, um, of, of your earnings over the last couple of years. You know, because then you will see where you've stagnated. Your current income is a representation of your beliefs around money and the unconscious patterns that you've picked up from the past. That's the bottom line. You know, I know, like I think I've, sp I've spoken about this quite a lot. That for me, you know, bring being brought up, um, you know, I, we always had a great home environment. I did start off in a council house, and then my parents always worked really hard to get, you know, to move to that next level. But it was almost like, you know, we couldn't have it unless we worked really hard, and it was always that kind of average, not the abundance. And so they're the beliefs that I have to, you know, I worked on. That's the stuff that came up for me was because it was almost as if I'd got to a, got to a level and then I wasn't allowed anymore. Or I had to work really, really hard to get everything that I want. And now it's completely different for me. It is completely different for me. And I, so I would really encourage you to kind of just look at the patterns, you know, um, of, of what you've done, you know, what has happened in your past, you know, because what are your inner beliefs about your ability to have, you know, to have and allow yourself to have money? What do you really believe deep down about your ability to earn money? Because it will all come from your inner beliefs. We've got a couple of comments, so let me just come back through. So, Nikki, um, what you said about spending it when it comes when it comes in, you also um, know now historically um, how you've unintentionally set that limit. That was a big eye opener for you, yeah. And yeah, definitely, you're working on that going forward. And um, you know, this is stuff that's happened to us from, you know, from before. You know, this is about the usually the beliefs that we've picked up are the ones that we picked up before the age of seven 
you know? They're the ones where, um, you know, growing up, including your parents, you know, what was their money story? What was your parents' money story? Because, you know, this is usually influenced by, um, you, you know, their story is, is what sort of creates your story, a uh, you know, quite a lot, quite often. It's that the money mindset is the result of the money story that's been building throughout your life. And if we keep on repeating it, and then we don't change that. So again, up to a few years ago, I still had that belief about you've got to work hard to get lots of money. So if I was still telling myself that, even when the belief was created when I was really young, that's the one that's been reinforced. That's the one that I will believe of myself. Um, so Nikki, yeah, definitely linked to self worth. Sean, you're applying for you, uh, so you're applying what you're saying for to get in a job. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. So Sam, you change jobs for your health and the wage is lower. What does that say about my belief? It was a desperation, a need. Oh, it's not letting me look at the rest of that message. I'll have to have a look at that when we're not on the live to see what the rest of the message was, Sam. Um, so you lived on the breadline, yeah. You know. So what was what's your story? What was your story? Because if you've got, you know, if you're continuing that same story, that's why you're getting what you're doing. Because your current attitude to it, your your own self worth, stems from that, and that's the bit we have to change. And also think about your language. I know. Again, I talk about this a lot on my program, but. You know, your language is so, so important. If you're actually saying, I'm not worth charging that, or I can't afford it, then, you know, that's what you're, that's what you're going to bring to you. That is what you're going to bring to you. You know, the reality is that it's our perception of ourselves and how worthy we think we are. It has a direct correlation to your self-worth. You know, and you have to change your beliefs and habits around that first. So I want you to just as an exercise, just consider your own money story. Just consider it. Think about those memories when you were growing up. What were you told about money? What are the ones that maybe you had when you were a child, but you're still reinforcing? And how much do you value yourself? You know what, how much do you value yourself? Because you've got to start with that. You've got to start with the valuing of you first before other people are going to value you. You know, because otherwise you'll keep on self-sabotaging, you know, to do that. So what do you believe about your ability to earn more money? You know, um, because that will be shaped by those previous stories. How much you charge will be down to your self-worth. You know, what packages you put out there will be down to your self-worth. You will only charge and receive the money that you believe you're worth. And that all takes place at that deeper level. Because on the surface, you may be actually thinking, yeah, I know exactly what I'm worth. Um, but it's your results. What are the results that you're getting? They will tell you the truth. They will tell you what your real reality is. So what are, what are the results that you're getting saying about what you really believe? How are your clients showing up for you? You know, are you doing lots of free stuff? If you're doing lots of free stuff, you're, you're still perhaps don't believe, yes, you've obviously got to do free stuff as, as well. I'm not saying don't do it, but you know, if you're then doing more of that than charging, what is that saying? What is that saying about um, your, your own self-worth? So with all of that in mind, you know, think about there, you know, what are the results that you're getting saying about what you really believe? Life is a mirror and projects back to you your biggest belief. So what action do you need to take today to change that cap that you've placed on yourself? What do you need to do? So I'd, I'd really encourage you to go back through your patterns and then I want you to just let me know, tell me in the comments or come back on later on into the group and let me know what you can do to change that cap you've placed on yourself today. And if you'd like more support in this area, then please drop me a note and we can have a chat. 
and actually um, my next mega success mindset accelerator program it's not until the summer but I've started my wait list so you know because I do only have you know we have a set number of people in the program um, and I've already opened up my wait list so if you want to get on the wait list for the next program um, I know that there was a few people that wanted to get on the last one and weren't able to do that. So if you want to get on, the, you know, be guaranteed a place on the next program that we start in the summer, then and be privy to all of the kind of the bonuses that um, you will get before we start, then um, I will put the link for that in the comments, and you can actually sign up to the waitlist before we've even started. So you're guaranteed a spot on that there because. I know it's one of those that there were a few of you that um, you couldn't get on it last time. So do let me know. Do let me know. Um, I'll pop the link in the comments. And let me know what your biggest ahas were of today's session. You know, I really, really um, would I value your feedback. And if you want additional assistance or anything like that, pop them in the comments. Have a wonderful day, guys. And I will see you again next week. See you later.